official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. The number's not good for the Illini. Four wins and 26 trips to Madison to play the Badgers since 1991. Eight straight losses at the Kohl Center, 15 overall in the series. It just keeps adding up here. Complete domination from our neighbors to the north. But alas, there's hope, Illini Nation, for that's why they play the game, right? So here we go. Illinois at Wisconsin after beating the Badgers in football. Illini with a chance to sweep the season series. At least one game against Wisconsin for the first time in a long time. Kobe King gets things going for Bucky. The start of a big night for the sophomore as Wisconsin starts the game on a 5-0 run. Illini respond with a Trent Frazier pull-up as the shot clock expires to pull them within two. They tie it up, working the high-low game to Kofi Coburn. Then Alan Griffin coming off the bench continues his confident play, nailing the three. He's limited by foul trouble, though, and sat most of the first half. Nate Reavers absolutely crushed the orange and blue last year. He hits the tough bucket in the paint, but Illinois hangs tough. Off the miss, the ball goes right to Desumu with a Authority, the slam gives the orange and blue the lead midway through the first. And more from King. He gets free, finishes with a Wisconsin high 21 points as they took a seven point advantage. But give Illinois credit, it was resilient even when they were down. Io to Kofi for the alley oop. This one goes down to the wire, and Illinois ends it on a 10 2 run. At least uses a 10 2 run. There's DeSumo with the layup. 71 70 the final as Illinois ends the streak, improving to 11 and 5 overall this season. Now 3 and 2 in the Big Ten. 15 straight losses now, a thing of the past for Illinois. Let's go right back live to Madison where our Marley Weirda is standing by. Marley, what was the atmosphere like there and how'd they get this done? Well, Brett, it was absolutely a very difficult atmosphere for them to play in. It was loud, but the Illini came out on top. And if 2010 belonged to the Badgers, now it looks like 2020 is going to be for the Illini. 15 straight games for the Badgers and the Illini were able to break that streak. Now, it was a nail-biting game here at the Kohl Center, especially because the Illini seemed to get a couple of players in foul trouble. Now, if they didn't accumulate as many fouls as they did, maybe it wouldn't have been such a tough game especially for a team that was shooting 100% from the free throw line in the first half the Badgers made every single one of their free throws and that's kind of what gave them a little bit of the edge but even when Illinois players got into a little bit of foul trouble they showed some resiliency there and that's kind of what seemed to shake the Badgers a little bit in the sense that they just weren't able to keep up with the line on that 10 to 2 run to finish the game and that'll do it for us here in Madison, reporting live at the Cole Center for your Illini Nation, Marley Weird at WCI 3 Sports. All right, Marley, thanks. We'll have Brad Underwood's post-game press conference live here coming up in just a few minutes. College women's